Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my very first stadium tour video. And yes, this video is me documenting some of the tour that I went on of the Estadio de Dragao, of course, one of the most iconic stadiums in the world and home of Porto FC. You may recognise this as the final of the iconic Champions League final. It was the home of the 2021 final between Chelsea and Manchester City. And of course, Chelsea came up on top, underdogs, you could say, in that final against Manchester City. And today, this is the video of me when I went over there last month to do a tour. Unfortunately, I couldn't do a filming of the entirety of the tour as you're not allowed to film while the tour guide is talking but I took as much video as possible and I'll explain and talk through the process. What a beautiful stadium and I can't wait to show you guys around. But yeah, let's get straight into the tour shall we. So as you start the tour you come down in an ele elevator and you come out into this lobby area and the first thing that hits you is this mural on the wall so this mural depicts um, several names including the first people who watched the first ever game at the ground which was a friendly between Barcelona and Porto and interestingly it was one of Messi's debuts that day back in 2004 and yeah it's got all those names on and past legends right next to the bar. Yeah, I just find it a really nice little touch when teams do that. It's not only honouring the players themselves, the staff, but also one of the most important factors of the club, uh, the fans. So yeah, it was a really nice touch and glad to see. So this bit of the wall in particular I've zoomed in on here shows the squad from that first ever game. And as you can see, Joseph Mourinho was the manager there, won the Champions League with this squad. You've got legends such as Deco also in there, so star studded lineup. You can see how well they did back then. Unfortunately, the next section I couldn't film in, but we went upstairs before we went onto the pitch to go look at these lovely executive boxes. These run you a few thousand pounds, so if you like the luxury lifestyle, this bit's for you. It's definitely the biggest ground I've ever been to. Not quite the Emirates, but you know, it would do. Nice padded seats down there. That's where the president sits with his entourage, family of the footballers sit down there. Pretty snazzy stuff. Pretty sick. It's my stadium on FIFA for a reason. Mm -hmm. It's pretty big, pretty gnarly. And yeah, that was definitely the right word, Seb. It is gnarly, but yeah, absolutely stunning views from up the top here. Um, absolutely beautiful stuff. I would r really recommend checking this stadium out. It's such a unique stadium, and it's kind of built into like a slope. So, as you can see on that side, it's tall, um, so it's sticking out from the ground. But to your left, it's flat, so you can walk straight up to it. It's really unusual, um, but yeah, really beautiful ground. And the seats here, beautiful padded seats, and the view is unbelievable yeah the tunnel tunnels down there where the players come out Players benches down there, the way in down that way. Yeah. 
they probably are quite comfy. So they would walk through that? Yeah, they'd walk through the tunnel then. Just up there a minute ago. Yeah, it's quite low down, but they're supposed to sit down here, don't they? Please sit down here. Jason Marino would have sat down here at one point in time. Deco. Now me. And I'm the goat, really, so that's all that matters. So being down pitch side by this by the pitch obviously was a really nice really nice time you can really see the grand scale of the stadium when you're down there as well such beautiful views i would really recommend visiting this stadium unfortunately obviously uh, i couldn't film a lot of it because of the reasons I go before tried my best but yeah hope you guys did enjoy this bit of the tour though So yeah, the stadium itself holds 50,000 people, just over 50,033, and yeah, um, the stadium itself was built all the way back in 2003. A lot of Portuguese teams were having a renaissance with stadium building around that time. Uh, Braga was built in 2004, and so was Benfica's ground. But yeah, is this one the best stadium in the country? Uh, check out the channel for my next tour, which is going to be Braga Stadium. So we can't go into the dressing room because the players are in there preparing for their game tomorrow, which is kind of sad, kind of sick at the same time to be fair. So, yeah. Yep, so there you guys, you go guys. That was the tour of the famous Estadio de Dragao. Apologies for not being able to film the whole thing as I couldn't film a lot of it, especially when the tour guide was going around, but I tried to do as much as possible. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you enjoyed this video. Up next, we have a tour of one of the most iconic stadiums in the world. That is Braga Stadium. Really good one. I've got a lot more filming done in that one. So hopefully that will be a lot longer video. And I think I got better after doing this one as well. So I'm a lot more, in confident, a lot more confident in that one as well. So yeah. And also apologies if you... I'm trying to edit most of it out. But I'm asthmatic and walking around there was making me very wheezy but yeah thank you guys for checking out the video hit a sub on the channel if you want to see some more stadium tours and hopefully i'll see you in the next one tg fan peace out